Ameyo Stella Adadevo was a great 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 granddaughter of Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowther, a great granddaughter of Abat Makole, a grandniece of President Enamdi Azikiwe, and a daughter of Professor Babatunde Kwaku Adadevo, the fourth Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos. In 2014, Adadevo was the doctor in charge who oversaw the treatment of Patrick Sawyer, the Liberian national who brought the Ebola virus to Nigeria. When she diagnosed his symptoms, Dr. Adadevo took an action that would stop the virus, hence saving millions of Nigerians. Adadevo was a descendant of the famous Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowther and Herbert Olayinka Makole, the father of Nigerian nationalism. If we should trace a lineage further up Crowther, then it would be safe to assume she was also descended from Alafia Abiodun, a famous king of Oyo who sought the end of Basharunga, that wicked prime minister of the old Oyo empire. Adadevo was born in Lagos in 1956, the daughter of Professor Babatunde Adadevo an academic expert of chemical pathology and the vice-chancellor of the University of Lagos between 1978 and 1980. She lived most of her life in Lagos, spending the last 21 years working at the first consultant hospital in Abalende, Lagos Island. The Ebola virus disease is a life-threatening disease with occasional outbreaks occurring primarily in Africa. The disease most commonly affects humans and non-human primates like gorillas, monkeys, and chimpanzees. It is caused by infection with a group of viruses in the Ebola virus genus. The Ebola virus triggers a sudden serious illness that is often fatal if untreated. It first appeared in 1976 in two parallel outbreaks, one in what is now Nzara, South Sudan, and the other in Yambuku, Democratic Republic of Congo, with the latter occurring in a village near the river Ebola, where the disease takes its name. The Ebola outbreak in West Africa from 2014 through 2016 was the largest outbreak since it was first reported in 1976. The epidemic started in Guinea and then spread across borders to Sierra Leone and Liberia. On July 20, 2014, Patrick Sawyer left quarantine in Liberia and flew to Lagos, Nigeria to attend a meeting of the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS. He collapsed at the Lagos airport and was taken to the first consultant medical center, FCMC, a private hospital where Dr. Adadevo worked. Under normal circumstances, as an ECOWAS official, he was supposed to be taken to a government hospital. But the doctors at all the government-owned health facilities were on an indefinite industrial action, so he was taken to the FCMC. The first doctor to see Mr. Sawyer diagnosed him with malaria. However, when Dr. Adadevo saw him in her ward the next day, she suspected Ebola despite the initial diagnosis of malaria and the fact that neither she nor any other doctor in Nigeria had ever diagnosed the Ebola virus disease before. Adadevo asked Mr. Sawyer if he had any contact with Ebola, which he denied. As a diligent clinician she was, she immediately contacted the Lagos State and the Federal Ministry of Health and had him checked for Ebola. While awaiting the test results, the patients and other Liberian government officials began demanding that Adadevo discharge Sawyer so that he could attend the ECOWAS meeting, but she declined vehemently. They threatened to sue her for abduction and breach of his human rights, but she managed to resist their relentless pressure and said that for greater public good, Sawyer would not be released. However, Adadevo and her team did what they could with the limited resources and supplies they had in the hospital to treat Sawyer. His Ebola diagnosis was later confirmed and he died at FCMC. Adadevo had strongly turned down a request by Sawyer's employers to have him discharged from the hospital so that he could catch a flight to Calabar, a coastal city that is 750 kilometers from Lagos, where he had been due to attend a conference. When the swine flu spread to Lagos in 2012, Adadevo was the first doctor to diagnose and notify the Ministry of Health. Two years later in 2014, she was again the first doctor to recognize another infectious virus, Ebola. Dr. Adadevo's precise and timely diagnosis of soya resulted in the Nigerian government mobilizing the resources needed to deal with the outbreak of Ebola in record time. Its efforts have led to a much more strategic control of the virus across the region 
as the Nigerian government has been able to successfully monitor all potential connections from the patient index, Patrick Sawyer. In all, there were 20 cases of Ebola. 11 of them were health workers, in which 6 of them survived while 5 succumbed to death, including Dr. Ameyo Stella Adadevo. For a long time, Adadevo's noble and patriotic deeds will be remembered. She took it upon herself to help prevent further spread of the virus in the country by reporting to the government. She put her foot down and stopped Sawyer from leaving the hospital when it was reported he had Ebola. Her sacrifice averted a national or even a global catastrophe as the story would have been different if Sawyer had ended up in another hospital under the care of another doctor. In her last hours, Adadevo received intravenous fluids and oxygen assistance and was closely monitored by physicians from the World Health Organization. Eventually, she died of the virus on August 19, 2014. She was 57. Adadevo was a member of the Nigerian Medical Association, Medical Women Association of Nigeria, British Nigerian Association, and National Postgraduate Medical College. She served as a non-executive director of Learn Africa PLC and a writer for the first ever Ask the Doc column in today's Women magazine, among other accomplishments. As of today, Dr. Ameyo Stella Dadevo is a recipient of 19 awards and honors, albeit posthumously. She was survived by her husband, Afolabi Kadoso, and their only son, Bankoli Kadoso. <laughs>